Hi, this is Lourdes. One question that keeps popping up over and over again, whether it's on my YouTube videos, emails from my customers and clients, uh, from Healing Crystals, any place I'm at is, how do I clear negative energy? The number one thing for clearing negative energy is to clear your space or to clear yourself. So how do you clear your space? One, physically clean. And I know this is a tough one. You have to clean and release. By cleaning and you release, you're letting go of stuff and you're letting new energy come in. So if your basement is full of stuff, I hate to say it, you have to clean it. If you have clutter in your house, it has to go. Now for yourself, you're saying, I feel negative energy. Well, that means clearing yourself. For some, that may, a salt scrub may be just what you need. Using essential oils uh, in carrier oils like peppermint, eucalyptus, and rosemary is a good way of doing Doing soaps that have those scents. And as you're using them, if you're using soap, imagine it clearing the negative energy off of you. Let's say you've done that. You've cleared your house and you've taken your shower, your bath, you've done the Epsom salt, you know, salt in the bath water, you've done the salt scrub, and things still don't feel right. Then what do you do? Well, first of all, make sure that if you brought anything new into the home, that you sage it and clear it. And this is for anybody who loves to go shopping to, you know, garage sales, yard sales, rummage sales, flea markets. If you bring something new home, something new to you, but already old, use a sage stick or a palo santo. And what you do is light it and work your way counterclockwise around it and make sure the smoke goes in and around it. It's very important to clean that piece because that has somebody else's energy. You can use either one. And as always, you know, make sure you have a heat proof container catching the ashes and you can do that with it. If you're in a home, you do the same thing north to south, east to west, with which either one of these. And what you do is make sure you hit the corners of the room. Corners of rooms are where stagnant energy actually multiply. They just stay there and they grow and they grow and they grow. You want to make sure, one, the, the corners are physically clean, but you then go in there with the intention that the smoke of either one of these clears the space. If you can't use this because you're allergic to smoke, either one of these, take an essential oil like Palo Santo, rosemary, sage, uh, peppermint, put it in a couple of drops in water, and you can actually leave it out during the full moon cycle so that it gets charged with full moon, full moon light, and then spray in the areas. Please make sure no curtains, electronics, with the intention that the water disperses or transmutes the energy. If you find that you prefer the scent, then use an oil diffuser and put those oils in the diffuser in a room. Let's say scent is not the way to go for you. Well, then you don't have to use scent. You can use sound. You can use CDs. You can use um, any audio file that has clearing music. Drumming music is very good. Play that in the house as you're physically cleaning. One thing to do while you're doing all of this is ask for energetic help. For me, I always ask Archangel Michael. That he always helps me energetically. But you may have someone else you use or some other form of energy. Do that and that's okay. If you do Reiki, place your hand up. Make sure the light goes into the space in the corners of the room. If you use symbols, use the Shoku Rei. Put it in the corners of the room. Put it in the center of the room. Go counterclockwise. One thing most people don't realize is going counterclockwise helps to remove and going clockwise puts energy in. So let's say you were using sage or an oil in a spray. What you can do is you can just spray counterclockwise and imagine all the energy going uh, through a tornado into the ground and the ground is transmuting it. Or it's dispersing with the water or with the smoke. Let's say you've done that. One other thing you can do besides the music and that is to play my Reiki videos for clearing the space while you're doing this. The whole goal is to make the space as light as possible. So you can play the video, you know, mute it. it there's no sound with it. Just mute it if you hear the introduction. Actually, I don't think there is an intro introduction. It's just uh, no sound at all. Play the music. 
Use the sage, use the oil. Make sure you're gonna corner rooms. Then what you can do is take black tourmaline, and these are pyramids, so it could be tumble stones, and place them in the corners of the room so that the you now protect the space. It grounds the energy and it also transmutes energy. You can do that. Now while you're using sage, any scent at all, or even just general clearing, make sure that you have windows open. That lets the energy flow out. Now after doing all of this, your room should feel better. If it doesn't feel better and you've done everything possible, you may want to seek a professional to have the space professionally cleaned. You know, some people like me, we, I, we do it from a distance, but some people do it in person. Seek a professional to get their impression. Some energy is in the land. It may not be in your physical house. So the land has to be cleared. And that's something you should always ask for help with. If you find after doing all of this that it hasn't gone and you, you're seeking a professional, please be aware that sometimes even the professional may refer you to someone else because they may not be able to do that work. It really is a specialized field and it's not something to be taken lightly. Always ask for help and for suggestions. 99% of the time, the steps I've showed you will clear it all. But if it doesn't, ask for a professional, ask for more tips and ideas. If you have any questions, please post them below the video so I can either refer you to someone else or give you some tips or ideas to help you out. This is Lourdes and thank you for watching this video.